Good morning, tea friends. Welcome to day number 14, Bird and Blend Teas. Day 14 is here. Earl Grey Cream. There it is. Doesn't smell that strong. In the Adagio box, 14. We have Autumn Mist Green. If it's tea, right away. Uh, jelly Donut, which is one of the teas I really, really, really want to try. Smell, smells like uh, Trix, Trix breakfast cereal. And since today is an even day, we are going to be opening day number seven of Tea Hot. This is the big one. Oh, do you see? It's a teapot. It's a Yangshing. Yo, I'm freaking out. It's a pig teapot. Look how cute it is. I want to test this out. Side note, don't ever hold a Yangshing like that. It gets hot very quick. Oink, oink, oink. I've eaten too much for my trough. Moderate spillage. Totally worth it. Once you get past the spillage part, it's a pretty good pour. Despite my love for pu'er and all fancy gung fu teas, I still always will love Earl Grey. I brewed it stronger than I anticipated, but it is good. Um, that black tea just busts out there. It's strong. It has a little bit of bitterness, but in a pleasant way. It has a little bit of astringency. Um, there is uh, a floral bergamot, uh, but then it's like followed by like this softening, softening flavor, I guess would be the cream. This is good. I'll probably add a little bit of milk to it while I eat breakfast, but this is good. Seven out of 10 tea bags. I'm also brewing in my thermos because I plan on uh, heading out to the grocery store here in a little bit. I need tea to go while I walk through the grocery store to get stuff. I brewed up David's Tea Jelly Donut and the David's Tea Thermos. So I do want to talk about this thermos that I didn't really talk about the other day. This thermos will stay hot for at least 12 hours. I've tested it with boiling water to see how long it stays in there. It's at least 12 hours, like uh, around that time. Uh, if you want to ice though, it'll stay iced for way longer than that, probably a full day. Uh, but this is a wonderful thermos. I got to add a discount. I really want to start collecting more David's Tea. They have a double walled Nordic mug that is just catching my eye. All thanks to Tea with Jan. Uh, talking about the double walled thermos. I really want to get one now. But in the meantime, I really love this thermos. Jelly Donut has apple, rhibis, raisin, beetroot, natural strawberry pastry flavoring, pink sugar sprinkle, yellow sugar sprinkles, strawberry, and stevia extract. There's another tea reviewer, Stuff is Alive, which I'll post their channel information on the description. They said it does taste like a jelly donut. However, they did say it tastes like a jelly donut. It's very sweet. It's very like, bam, in your face. Um, like the strawberry jelly filling of a donut. I would say this tastes like, I, I mean, I don't really eat a lot of strawberry donuts, but I love cereal. This tastes like trick cereal, like the milk afterwards, like when you're drinking that sweet, sugary, delicious milk that, um, you know, is obviously healthy for you. That's what this tastes like. This is freaking fantastic. I went on with David's Tea's website and they don't have it anymore. So it made me a little sad, but that's okay because I shouldn't be buying tea anyway. I should be enjoying the teas I have and enjoying Advent. So I am making a list of teas that I love during Advent season to hopefully find them again after the holidays and maybe at a discount. But this one is really fantastic. I wouldn't indulge in it too much, but I would brew this one for friends and I would brew this one if I have an absolute sweet tooth because let's be real, I need to drop the cookies and chocolate. All right, that's all I got for now. I will see you at the next one. Until then, happy sipping, cheers. All right, we are back. I've been drinking the Dong Dean from Beautiful Taiwan Tico via Tea Thoughts. 
Um, so this is a nice tea. I decided to brew it in my pig pot here. It's pretty cool. It's functional, so that's important. So I've been drinking this tea for a little bit. Um, I think I'm on like steep three. It's very nutty. It's sweet. Almost has like a like a candy esque um, flavor, but I, I'm not sure what the candy esque like. It's just sweet and um, sweeter than you would would think. Like when you smell when you smell the leaf, it has this. Um, it's, I mean, it's really fragrant. It has almost this like aged smell. Um, it, and I, I'm not sure what I'm not sure what to compare it to, but it's a very good tea. It's a good tea for in between the day on a lunch break sort of tea. This would, this would be a tea that I would reach for more in the colder months um, because it has sort of this like heavy warming uh, flavor to it, um, but it also remains to be fruity, um, dessert-like. It's a very nice tea. Um, I definitely like a Dongding. I definitely like roasted oolongs. So this is something I would give like a nine out of 10. I would buy it and I would drink it a lot. I'm definitely going to look into investing in Taiwan Tea Craft. Check out their oolong selection, but also check out their pu'er selections because their pu'er selections and oolong selections are usually pretty good. All right, um, if there's any more to come, I will share those thoughts on those teas. If not, I will uh, give you all a proper goodbye and then we will move on to day number 15. This will be the last one for today. I was watching Tiba Jan's uh, video. Jan and uh, her wife Jeanette were drinking the Autumn Mist Green. I will also have some tea. Oh, wow. Wow, that that is good. That reminds me of like, um, something very specific and I can't like, like turtle, pecan turtle things. And like kettle corn and caramel corn. So I learned today that uh, it must be pig thing gifts because uh, my wife gave me this pig mug today and I absolutely adore it. What a happy little pig. I used my pig um, yingxing from Tea Thoughts and it was just so fun. That was a fun session. And now it's super late and I'm catching up on all my vlog misses to watch for folks. And then eventually I'll have mine posted probably later than I anticipate. This tea is smelling amazing. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. But in the meantime, I'll tell you the ingredients are gunpowder green tea, apple pieces, cinnamon, rose hip, natural cream brulee flavor. Ah, that's what it was. Marigold flowers, rose petals, and moderate caffeine. And we're back. So before I review the tea, I'm not gonna have chamomile tomorrow. I have a tea, a virtual tea session with a friend I have not talked to in months. Early in the morning, 10 a.m. Um, and then um, band practice in the evening. So, and then chores in between. I got some stuff I gotta do. Back to the tea, back to the tea. Coink, 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 coink. Hmm. Hmm. At first, I was like, oh, that's nice. It's like caramely. And upon the second sip, it was like, oh, whoa. There's green tea in this. <laughs> it, it's weird because I don't imagine like a gunpowder to green tea, which can be like really intense, really bold, really um, grassy, maybe not grassy, but bitter, um, mixed with all these like flower, all these flavors. 
it it's it, it starts out really nice but then like the gunpowder just sits there it's like hello it's confusing my taste buds i like it my taste buds are like uh, i don't know how to feel about this obviously we like it but it's still confusing and it's sweet as i said it has a nice caramel butterscotch creme brulee but then the gunpowder green is just making it weird in a good way i'll give this one a seven and a half out of ten i think this will be all the teas i will drink today uh, i will have this video edited and posted here shortly until then i will see you on day number day number 15 cheers and happy sipping today will be number 15 and 16 uh, my goal is to post 14, 15, 16. At some point, I've been falling behind, work schedule change, all that kind of fun stuff. So um, a lot a lot going on and uh, just the timing difference. We are going to open day number eight from the Tea Thoughts calendar. There you go. We got an Amber Dragon from Octavia Tea. This is Organic Oolong from the Wuyi Mountains, Fujian, China. This one might be a, a gung fu tea, so I'll have to um, brew this up at a different time, but I like the packaging. Got day number 15 and 16 of the Burden Blend. There's 16, which is Dozy Girl. We've had this one before. It's good sleepy time tea. And there's 15, Morning Kick, and uh, there we have Adagios. 15 and 16 are next to each other. 15 is the white pear. 16 is the coconut chai. That's 16. There's 15. 15 is Christmas blend morning. Oh, it smells like root beer. And 16 is Palm Grateful, which is a tea I've had before. It's very good. And then randomly, I'm drinking the apple and apple spice and cinnamon black tea from the Grinch box. This one had more of an aroma when it wasn't steeping versus after it was steeping. So the bag, the bag had more of a, like an apple spice and the flavor is more of like a bland, boring black tea. There's really no spice or apple. I give this one like a like a two out of ten. All right, um, I might get two more teas tonight. It's already kind of late. Uh, if not, I will have some reviewed in the morning, and then we will uh, get this video posted first thing. Uh, I'll see you at the next one. We're back. Um, so we're actually on day number seventeen. The first one I have is the advent for David's tea from right here. This one is the s'mores chai. Then we have Adagio. The Honeybush Blueberry Pancake. And then the Moji Tea from Bird and Blend. So today I only drank two teas from Advent, uh, from the Advents. I drank the White Pear from Adagio, which is a white tea, apple pieces, natural pear flavor, and low caffeine. Um, this was okay. It had a lot of, um, it had a lot of white tea base. There wasn't a lot of like fruity notes. I didn't get a pear at all. I would say it's a good white tea, but it just didn't get any pear or apple vibes. And then what I'm currently uh, drinking is the coconut snow chai from Adagio. This is a green ribus, cinnamon, ginger, apple pieces, coconut, cardamom, cloves, natural coconut flavor, and natural cream flavor, uh, and red peppercorn. This is a decaf tea. Drinking it in my thermos here. It's very nice, very lovely. Um, it's sweet. You definitely get the coconut bits flavor. Um, it's it's very nice. Um, yeah, I would give this one six and a half, seven out of ten. This is all going to record for today. Um, I know I'm a few days behind. I have lots of tea to catch up on. I look at it as it gives me something to look forward to for the upcoming late, 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 late nights. Um, and it gives me something to forward to to record and share with you all. 
but I'm currently in the process of adjusting to a later shift. So my brain is doing this weird adjusting. I will share what I have and uh, I will see you on day number 18. Till then, feel free to drop a comment, a like, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and as always, happy sipping. Cheers.